Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me on another book reading on Reading with Queen Bee. I am reading a story dedicated to Janelle. Janelle said that this was her favorite story from the website Epic. And Janelle, it is a really nice story. I read it and all I can say is that it's actually pretty funny too. So great choice, Janelle. I am super excited that you are reading. So the story is called, And What If I Won't? And this book is by Maureen Fergus and Quinn Ling. So a little summary of the story, it says, When Benny's mother asks him to put his dirty plate in the sink, he responds by asking, What would you do if I said no? It reminds me when my kids used to say no, but... It's not a use to, they still sometimes on occasion say no, but they know better now. So we're going to listen to the story. And again, thank you so much for joining me. I just want to tell my busy bees, I miss you guys, but I'm really happy you guys are keeping up with your reading. So Janelle, this book reading is dedicated to you. And what if I won't? Benny, please put your plate in the sink. What would you do if I said no? asked Benny. I tell you that just saying no is rude, replied his mom. Then I'd explain why it's important to help out around the house. Yes, it's very important to help out around the house. Well, said Benny, what would you do if I said that I liked being rude? that I didn't care about helping out around the house, and then I chucked my plate across the room. I guess I try to catch the plate before it hits the wall, said his mom. Benny seems to be a little rude right now. But what would you do if you couldn't catch it, asked Benny, and it smashed into the wall, you mean, said his mom. Exactly said Benny. I make you clean up the mess, of course. And that's a good choice. I like that, Mom. But what would you do if I refused to clean up the mess? asked Benny. What would you do if I made an even bigger mess, so big that I practically destroy the kitchen? If you destroy the kitchen, Benny, I'm afraid I would have to give you a timeout, said his mom regretfully. So this is just Benny asking mom the question of what would you do if I said no? And all of this is him visualizing and telling his mom, what would you do if I said this and did that? So this is not really happening, but it's him having a conversation with his mom. So let's see what happens next. What would you do if instead of staying in time out, I ran around the house drawing on the walls with permanent marker? Asked Benny. What would you do if I put on my muddy rain boots and jumped on the couch? What would you do if I purposely tore pages out of library books? Ooh, so Benny has quite a mean imagination. Very rude. If you did that, gasped his mom, I'd give you to the zoo. But what would you do if the zookeeper said she didn't want me anymore because I bit her when she tried to feed me and I made horrible faces at people when they tried to take pictures of me and I roared at the baby penguins whenever they splashed at me. The poor penguins, cried his mom. Oh, Benny, how could you be so cruel? Instead of answering, Benny laughed like an evil genius. Ha 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 ha. Then he stopped laughing and said, well, what would you do? What do you guys think his mom would do? Let's find out. If the zookeeper didn't want you, I suppose I'd have no choice but to sell you to the circus, sighed his mom. So I think maybe the circus would be the place for him because he's acting like a big clown. Really? said Benny. But what would you do if I put sand in the cotton candy machine and tied the lion's tails together and pulled down the clown's pants so that everybody can see their polka-dotted underwear? 
What would you do if the ringmaster showed up at the front door and said he had enough of me? Hmm. Now let's see what his mom would do if that would happen. I do the only thing a loving mother can do when her son is being so monstrously naughty that even a circus won't keep him, said Benny's mom sadly. I'd send you to the moon so you can see mom taking him to this astronaut and that rocket is going to be where Benny is going to be placed to be sent to the moon. Let's see what happens. Even though Benny kind of liked the idea of being sent to the moon, he didn't stop there. But what would you do if instead of flying to the moon like I was supposed to, I shouted bad words at the people in mission control, zoomed across the galaxy, and crash landed on a planet filled with aliens? Wow, let's see what she would do. I'd weep bitterly at the news that you shouted bad words, laugh joyfully at the news that you'd landed safely, and then... Hire a space taxi to come and get me, suggested Benny. No, said his mom. Then I tell the aliens to keep you. <laughs> this is a good mom. Benny laughed again. Then he climbed up onto his mom's lap and whispered, Mom, what would you do if I was so naughty that the aliens didn't want to keep me? What would you do if they used a giant alien slingshot to hurl me back to Earth and I landed right smack in the middle of our very own front yard. I'd give you a big hug, replied his mom. I'd tell you how much I'd missed you and how much I love you. Oh, that's so sweet. And then I'd ask you to please put your plate in the sink. <laughs> so that was a really funny story about Benny, the adventures of Benny and his question, and what would you do to his mom? And I think that's a question that a lot of our kids usually ask us. Well, what would you do if I don't or if I do? So Janelle, this was a really good book selection. I really enjoyed reading it to you. And to all the subscribers and everyone watching Reading with Queen B, I just want to say thank you. And don't forget, if you want to keep buzzing about books, keep reading with Queen B. Bye.